Hey guys and welcome to this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri. My name is Lauri Laukonen and I am one of the editors at SLR Lounge. You can also find me on Facebook at Lauri Laukonen Photography. In this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri, we are going to be taking a look at skin retouching. Today's image was submitted by a follower on Facebook called Olli Viljama and we are going to be taking his image that you can see here and transforming it and editing it in Photoshop. Today we're going to do the skin retouching and I'm going to teach you guys some very simple techniques for doing the skin retouching. And then uh, in the following week or two, we're going to go over the dodging and burning, color grading and the other steps that go into editing a photograph like this. But with that said, let's move over to Photoshop and let's get started. So here you guys can see the image that Olli uh, submitted to me yesterday. Uh, as you can see, we have some reflections in the glasses here and uh, the skin itself is very nice. I love the freckles on her skin and we won't be getting rid of them as it's part of her identity. But we're going to be cleaning up some of the skin, some of the little scars that the skin texture has, as well as these stray hairs. And I'm going to teach you guys some techniques on how to do it. So let's create a new layer here and use the healing brush tool, which you can find from here. Healing brush tool. So uh, let's zoom in and let's get rid of this stray hairs, uh, stray hair here. How the healing brush works is by pushing down the Alt key, you select a tech area or a texture that is clean on the skin. So let's say somewhere around here. And then uh, by brushing on the hair, what it, the healing brush tool does, it copies the texture that you selected by pushing down the Alt key on top of this new area that you're brushing on now. So that way uh, the color stays the same and only the te texture uh, is changed. Uh, that's the good thing about the healing brush tool. It does not really affect the color of the skin. It only affects the texture. Then if you'd be using the clone stamp tool, which you can find from here, uh, that tool copies both the color as well as the texture. So sometimes the clone stamp tool is better and we'll go over that now. So if you have something that you like to uh, get rid of on an edge, for example, here you can see this part here, which is just a continu continuation of this paint here. But somehow I feel it's a bit unneeded and a bit kind of distracting. Uh, I really can get rid of it with the healing brush tool. Sometimes you'd, you'll get uh, a pretty good result. But as you can see, the edge does not really stay as sharp as it should. So then in these kind of situations, the clone stamp tool is better as it selects both the color and the texture and that way you can kind of, as, no, now this was done pretty quickly and badly, but as you can see it creates the edge again. So using the uh, clone stamp tool on the edges of an image, like here as well, uh, works much better than the healing brush tool. But the healing brush tool is the gr a great tool to use when uh, retouching skin not on the edges. So for example here. So that's pretty much the two tools that I use when skin retouching. Uh, then there are some several other techniques that you uh, can be used uh, when retouching skin and we'll take a look at that now. So. Uh, I won't be doing more skin retouching now. What I instead will do is I have a ready-made, I'll show you guys, uh, skin retouch layer here, which I did a bit er earlier. And uh, so I'm going to just make it visible here. As you guys can see, I've gotten rid, rid of all the, these, um, what do you call them, highlights and uh, some other distracting areas and stray hairs, as well as this reflection there. So, we'll but all this was done only using the healing brush tool and the clone stamp tool. So those two tools 
were used to get rid of these things here. Now, one technique that I want to teach you guys, which is a bit different uh, than most people teach is uh, here. So I'm going to push down the shift, alt, command and E keys, which create a stamp visible layer. Now, by pushing down command and I, I invert the image. Then by changing the blending mode from normal down to vivid light, I get this uh, layer that looks a bit like the high pass layer. And now when I go down to filter other high pass, I can get start getting rid of texture. So uh, when we start from here, we see a bit of texture. The farther we go, the less texture we see. So I'll go and pull this slider to a place where the texture is starting to get uh, invisible, like here. And now I'll just zoom in on the skin and using the filter blur Gaussian blur, I'll start bringing back the texture as you guys can see here. This gives a nice, a bit more soft look to the skin and get rid, gets rid of some of the largest pores. Uh, so this is kind of a lazy man skin retouch. Uh, using this uh, trick, you can get rid of some of the bigger pores in your skin. Uh, so yeah, that's the technique that I wanted to teach you guys, guys as well. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Then next week, we're going to take a look at dodging and burning and color grading, as well as getting rid of some other areas in this image. And the final product that we're going for will look something like this. So as you guys can see, I've done uh, quite a lot to this image after doing the skin retouch. I've sharpened the image. I've done the dodging and burning, color grading, uh, vignetting. Uh, and you, I also use some creative blurs and we're going to go th through these old things uh, later next week and the week after. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. And as always, if you have any questions or requests for future episodes, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you all out. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and see you guys again next Tuesday. Bye.